All right, guys, last final video. Um, just gonna go ahead and say here, I'm quitting Common Grounds and becoming a full-time YouTuber because I think I have a future in it. Um, so yeah, let's let's freaking get it. Um, first things first, when we're closing down, who is this, Larry? When we're closing down Larry or Walter, you know, whatever. Um, first thing we do is we actually look at these guys um, and you take them apart, right? So this one spins off and so does this one. Um, I'm gonna have to do this one. I have both hands because it's hard. Um, but yeah, you take these take these guys off after they're deconstructed. Again, whoever your lovely dishwasher is, um, will gladly do it for you. Um, thing to keep in mind is when you wash those, they dry. Uh, you come, you put them back here on the pad. You want to make sure that they stay deconstructed because they hold um, a lot of water. And so, again, when you're tamping in the morning, when whatever you're doing. Um, it's the grind stick to the equipment uh, because they are still wet. So we want to leave them to dry overnight deconstructed and in the morning, the braces, it's not too hard to just put them back together. So um, just wanted to put that out there so that y'all know. Um, now with the actual machine part, I'm just gonna show y'all how to do one side because it's the same thing for both sides. Um, again, only have one hand. I'm trying to get out of here. I'm trying to close right now. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just gonna show the half of it on video and then I'll do the other half when I leave. Um, again, come over to this cup area. You want to grab the red, the red toolbox here. That is going to be hold most of the tools that you need for the night. Um, and then you're going to come back over here and you're going to grab the the powder. Um, we also, if we have the uh, liquid wand cleaner, you want that as well. If not, you're just going to sub that out for more of this powder. So first things first is this guy, once you take it, right, take it off. Um, you can see in here, this little screw part, um, we're gonna unscrew that. that. That is hot water, wow. Um, I knew that, but I did it anyways. Grab the screwdriver inside the red box. Um, you're just gonna, you know, untighten it. So after you, I'm just gonna burn myself because I'm trying to be quick, it hurts but no pain, no gain, right? It's almost there. Okay, perfect. So once that comes out, go ahead. Oh my word. Did it just fall? It did not. Okay, perfect. Put it there. <laughs> Roller coaster. Also, reason I have the towel there, it's just so that this little guy doesn't fall down the drain or whatever. Um, so we're gonna keep it like that, uh, put it over to the side. Um, this guy, really important that um, you don't leave it um, overnight. You don't just like put it back on. You don't wipe it down that we're actually scrubbing this like with soap in the sink. Um, making sure that again, it's just getting clean. Uh, dishwasher, <laughs> they're champions, they're champions. Anyways, so you'll, you won't need to use this until you end up putting it back on later. I uh, can put the towel up. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into your handy little toolbox. I'm gonna grab this filter out right here. I'm just gonna fits right in. And you are gonna grab, grab the powder. I'm looking kind of crazy tonight, I won't lie. Maybe this is how I always look, oh well. Uh, just put a little bit of the powder in. Uh, it doesn't need to be anything crazy. Um, so just a little bit. And then you wanna do what I call, or what everybody calls, 10 and 10. So you run the machine for 10 seconds, let it sit for 10 seconds, rinse, repeat uh, three times until it is done. Um, so while I'm doing this 10 and 10, I'm going to explain to y'all what to do with the wands. So try to keep up with me. Um, you're just gonna grab a pitcher. Uh, again, the wand cleaner liquid is ideal, but if not, the powder will do. So you're just gonna put a little bit of powder into, I don't even, you will probably can't even see it. There's powder in there. Um, then you're just gonna come over, like this thing's about to hit 10 seconds, boom, 10, second 10 and 10. You're gonna walk over here, put some hot water on it, fill it up a good amount, because you want the steam to actually be submerged into the water. Um, and then you're gonna grab this guy. I tighten it with a wrench, so it needs to be untightened with a wrench. Um, which thankfully, guys, guess what? Have that in your toolbox, making sure the, the toolbox is Way. Sorry, this isn't like super professional, but you know what? It is what it is. So you want to go ahead, 
and untighten it. It's really not that hard to untighten it with the wrench. You just got to do it. Put it in the into the little soapy thing right there. Um, and again, you're going to end up doing this with both wands. Um, my tin and tin is now done here. Uh, so we're going to put this, just dump it, dump it into the thing, rinse the filter off with the water, making sure that it doesn't have any junk left on it. Um, done with the filter, boom. Um, and next thing, really important, making sure that we're doing this every night is grabbing this guy. Uh, we have a red one, we have a black one, doesn't really matter which one you use. Um, and what you're gonna do is you're going to run the water. You're gonna try to make sure you get it. So you run it and then you're just gonna scrub in here, right? Clockwise, counterclockwise, across the screen. Uh, whatever you do, you're just trying to get all of the grounds that are stuck in there. You want them to um, not be in there because again, it prohibits us from pulling good shots and that's not what we want. Um, so making sure that we are scrubbing it, cleaning it uh, the best to our ability. So boom, did that. And then that's mostly for like um, the actual cleaning part um, when it comes to like the filters and stuff. After that, uh, again, you're gonna take apart the machine so you're gonna want to take it off. Oh my gosh, I would have been bad. Uh, most of y'all know how to do this. If not, I, I'm y'all are smart. Y'all. Um, so you're wanting to take apart the machine. Uh, handy dander, handy dander. Oh no. Anyways, I'm not gonna remake this video, so that's just gonna have to be in there. <laughs> handy dandy dishwasher will do it for you. Um, and then you're gonna come over and wherever you have. Uh, just glass cleaner. Um, and this is for most shifts. Shift lead should be asking everybody to clean the machine, wipe down the machine. And so again, just gonna grab it, spray it all in here. And then you're gonna grab a towel, wipe it down, wipe down the outside of the machine, same thing. Um, and then yeah, that that is it. Just gonna put it up the same way you got it, um, except for the fact that you're gonna leave the tips off of the wands and you're just gonna put them in here, right? Setting down right here like that. Um, and then that's all that there is to it, guys. You just do that on both sides and you should be good to go. So there you go. One more thing I forgot to add, uh, just real quick, is uh, this guy right here. Um, that is always filled with, can you see that? Okay, yeah, cool. Um, always filled with like sludge, espresso, um, just gross grimy stuff um, once you take apart the machine. So make sure that you're wiping it down with a paper towel. Uh, you're pouring a little bit of hot water in it um, just again, cleaning it up, looking as nice as possible. But uh, yeah, other than that, guys, once you put the machine done, it should be done. Uh, and yeah, there you go.